Hello, everybody, and welcome to North American Elite Wrestling. This is your host, Danny Jackpot. This is the fourth episode of Roadblock. We are very close to an AEW success, but we are also close to the New Year's Showdown Countdown Holiday Special. But tonight, it's Roadblock. We got five matches, four matches for the Rising Star Championship Tournament quarterfinals. As Mike Ballander makes his way down the ring, he's going to take on Johnny Farmer. That's right, everybody. Welcome. I hope you enjoyed your holidays. Danny Jackpot here. North American Elite Wrestling. Excited to be here for Roblox Episode 4. Mike Ballander making his way out to the ring right now. All these men that you'll be seeing competing in the Rising Star Championship Tournament has, have won their Ground 1 matches, respectively. Mike Ballander had defeated Johnny D. And Johnny Farmer, who's about to make his way down the ring right now, had defeated Hugo Sullivan in the first round of the tournament. Dangerous Johnny Farmer, a former brutality champion here in AEW already, looking to win the Rising Star Championship. Don't forget, in AEW, you're going to be switching to two different brands here. In AEW, American Aggression. In AEW, Canadian Showdown. The pilot season in AEW is almost to a close. Six cents being the big ending of this pilot season. As you see Johnny Farmer slide his way into the ring, he'll be taking on Mike Ballander. Which one of these two men will move on to the semifinals of the tournament? The first quarter final match. We also will have a Divas Tag Team match, the very first one in AEW history. The main event, Andrew Hunter, Chris Snyder of the tournament. Also in the tournament, you'll be seeing Nate Farron and L Lightning take on each other. The bell rings in this match is underway. You also will see Nick Gemini, Alex Snow take on each other. Mike Valander on the ropes. Big rotating spinning elbow there. From the second rope, Mike Valander got the best of Johnny Farmer to start this match. I actually whipping him into the turnbuckle, yes. What's he got here? Oh my god! Big huge suplex by Mike Ballander! Almost looked like a, a variation of a Tazplex. Then a Russian leg sweep by Mike Ballander. Mike Ballander wearing the plaid and the face mask. Oh! Big double knee by Johnny Farmer when Mike Ballander was laid against the corner there. Which one of these eight men you'll be seeing competing in this championship tournament tonight? Walk away with the Rising Star Championship. They will be then, respectively, have to be on the American Brands. That is the American Brands mid-card title. The draft over on the Culver's forums is still actually competing, going on right now where the fans will select the roster. The Culver's forum members, the Culver, the fans themselves don't have to sign up for Culver's. It's open where you can just make the roster picks as long as you follow the rules. As what is Johnny Farmer doing here? Shades of Rob Conway nailing the Conway. Yeah, a rotating neckbreaker suplex from the from the spring from the ropes. Impressive by Johnny Farmer. And now a Russian leg sweep knocking down Mike Valander. Johnny Farmer missing the knee. Mike Valander now. Got Johnny Farmer, grabs the wrist and a wrist lock. What's my god, they got plan here. Oh my god, just tossing Farmer into the ring, ring post. Tormer's shoulders got to be feeling the effects of that one. Mike Valander now choking out Farmer. Yeah, just stopping on his rib cage. Again, just stopping on Farmer's rib cage. Maybe trying to set him up for that deadlift that he does. Farmer, what's he going for here? The farm knee! Nail on the farm knee! The farm knee! One, two, three, no! Bounder kicks out! Farmer's gotta be caught off guard. Bounder takes him, gets, knocks him down with the knee. Puts Bounder in a camel clutch. Shades of the Iron Sheik. Shades of Muhammad Hassan. Make him humble. Make him tap. But no, Bounder. Trying to get to the ropes. Farmer lets go of the hold. Farmer nails a huge step up in Seguri on Mike Bounder. And then just driving his arm into the mat. Bounder though gets up. Bounder's crazy. Bounder versus Farmer. Nail the Russian leg sweep. Uh, 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 
Mike Ballander now. Mike Ballander now has a deadlift. Mike Ballander looking for the deadlift, but no. Farmer gets up. Farmer got up, but he gets hit with the Michinoku driver. A one. Far I, I don't know if Farmer kicked out or Ballander let go of the hold. I think Ballander let go of the hold, and there's a huge uppercut on Farmer. One, two. Farmer kicks out at two. What a match here on the opening episode of a uh, Roblox. Episode four. Don't forget, at the Holiday Showdown Special, it started off on Twitter with Marcus Carter and Smokey. It will end at, at, at the Countdown Show. On Showdown, those two have a match. Mason Chronic, suspect, non-title on that match. A 40-man rumble. Chronic, or, got, got a cover by Ballander there. Got only in one. And now just throwing him over his head. Like half a dragon suplex there almost half a full Nelson overhead. And then driving his face into the mat. Ballander the big Ellen of the back. I don't know how much more Farmer could have left here. Oh my god, just slamming Farmer's neck and head into the mat with a huge angled slam. I said angled slam, not angle slam. As Farmer's got the submit or Farmer's in a submission here by Ballander. Ballander looking to make him tap with like half a wrist lock and half a clutch. Ballander lets go of the hold. Pulls Farmer up. What's he looking to look in that deadlift? Just driving Farmer's body into the mat. One, two, three. Ballander defeats Farmer. Ballander moves on to the semifinals. Mike Ballander has the Johnny Farmer on the first episode of Roadblock, and I am shocked. You, I don't know if I'd call that an upset. Mike Ballander, he could be the very first Rising Star champion. He just defeated Johnny Farmer in a hell of a match. He's moving on to the semifinals. He will be taking on the winner of Alex Snow versus Nick Gemini, which a match we will be seeing right after this, actually. Ballander nails that deadlift. He goes for the cover. He gets the two, the three. Ballander moves on in the tournament as I am shocked. Mike Ballander, everybody. Look at that. Mike Ballander got to be impressed with his win. I got to say, Mike Ballander, he, he, he's in the psychotic trailblazers with, with Butch Simpson. But, but what he had just done here, that, that that's amazing, I think. Mike Ballander proving himself in a single career once again. Mike Ballander wins this match. As we move on now, Alex Snow, Nick Gemini, the second match of this, as we just seen. We just seen Johnny Farmer lose his match too. I'm sorry everybody, my head my headphone head cut out there, I'm sorry. But everybody, we had just seen Johnny Farmer lose his match to Mike Ballander. As I was trying to say before, my, my headset had just cut out. Alex Snow making his way down to the ring. Alex Snow, I mean she in the ring. Nick Gemini, I'm sorry that, 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 that pause in the headset has thrown me a little off focus, but Nick Gemini back here. Nick Gemini making his way down to the ring. Alex Snow, we had to see, picked up a win in the first round, I believe, over Marcus Matrix. I, 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 as I don't have my notes ready now, Nick Gemini had won his first round match over Shane Corson. Nick Gemini will be seeing his girlfriend, Denise Parkinson, compete later tonight in that tag team match. It's all about Nick Gemini and Alex Snow now as these two men, the bell rings. The match is about to start. We have seen Alex Snow have his troubles with Monster Messiah lately. But then, don't forget in these tournament matches, we try not to have interference. We've seen Alex Snow actually interfere against Monster Messiah's match against Nate Fair and why Monster Messiah no longer is in the tournament. Alex Snow had got repercussions for that, but has not been removed from the tournament, and he was lucky for that. 
Alex Snow with a big sleeper slam on Nick Gemini. Alex Snow, original member of the WEDF DCO roster. He is a veteran in call. He is he is not a rising star. He says he says he's a veteran and he wants to put these rising stars down. Alex Snow will be competing against Monster Messiah and Isaac Call for the Brutality Championship at six cents. As you see Alex Snow drive the shoulder to Nick Gemini. Nick Gemini. Big knee to Nick Gemini there. Choking him out. Alex Snow, big back suplex on Nick Gemini. Nick Gemini, the MILF hunter. That's right, he calls himself the MILF hunter. He says that Nice Parker says a MILF and he sure hunted that down. This is how, I'm just telling you what they tell me in the back, guys. Nick Gemini is at the best of Alex Snow right now, but as soon as I say that, Alex Snow whips into the turnbuckle. Alex Snow with a big shoulder to the gut of Nick Gemini. Alex Snow definitely the bigger of the two men. Alex Snow using that big that, that big advantage of his of that just the size advantage of his. The big size advantage of his, I would say. To his advantage. <laughs> Alex Snow getting a one count with the cover there. Nick Gemini, now a big back elbow, trying to pick up some advantage, some momentum here against Alex Snow. Got Alex Snow from the back, going for a big back suplex, and Nick Gemini nails it. Nick Gemini stomping on Alex Snow, Alex Snow able to get up. Nick Gemini though, not getting off Alex Snow, and a big Russian lacy as soon as he gets up. And then, whoa, Nick Gemini with like a standing hurricane run off, like head scissors Mike maneuver. That was impressive. Nick Gemini now has him in one corner, whips him to the other, kicks Alex Snow, but Alex Snow now kicks him off. Alex Snow grabs Gemini, toss him down to the mat, arm ringer. Gemini fights Alex Snow off, kicks him in the gut. What's Nick Gemini going for here? Another big back suplex, but got some cork and angle on that. Alex Snow almost being driven down to the neck, and then a standing moonsault by Nick Gemini. Impressive Nick Gemini here against Alex Snow tonight. Running at him. Sunset bomb by Nick Gemini. Flipping over Alex Snow. I don't know how much impact that had. Looking for the cover though. Had to get him away from the ropes. I think it cost him the cover there. Alex Snow now just running at Nick Gemini. And just going. Just doff his feet. Nailing a drop kick. Going to the outside. He's at my. I got to get out of here. All right, I'm away from here, guys, and these guys are fighting by my, by my, by my announce table here, and I don't know what these guys have planned. Alex Snow as Nick Gemini by the table. Well, th this is a tournament match. The referee's counting at three. What is Alex Snow going to do to Nick Gemini? He's pulling him up. They're on my announce table. What are they doing? Oh, my God. He just threw Nick Gemini face first through the table. Alex Snow. Nick Gemini's got to be out. He somehow gets up! Gemini rolls in the ring! I don't think Gemini even knows what hit him! Alex, no! Big German suplex now, and now Nick Gemini nails it! How is, how is Nick Gemini even fighting back after that? Rolls out of the ring of the elbow! Nick Gemini's got heart! Nick Gemini somehow actually got Alex O in a place where he'd want him! Jumping! Top jumping Hurricane Raw Frankenstein when when what's in place of the turnbuckle jumping super Frankenstein jumping DDT now Flip bottom C4 by Gemini Alex Snow though able to finally nail a big elbow of Gemini stop the momentum and now using Wrestling 101 to drive Nick Gemini down the mat and then just slamming his head into the mat a few times, Alex Snow. Going for the cover now, Alex Snow is. Only getting two. Alex Snow with a big insiguri. Knocking him down, Nick Gemini. Nick Gemini now gets up and then able to reverse Alex Snow. No, Nick, Je as, as I say that, just driving Gemini now down, head to the mat again, was able to get the better of Gemini there. Alex, no, gets reversed, going for a powerbomb. Oh, my God, Gemini. 
Why? Only get one somehow! X, no! Doug Glover's two huge elbows to Gemini's head there! Oh my god! Caught the foot! Just nailing a backflip! Flat backflip kick! Then driving him down with a tilt the world arm drag! Springing off the ropes! Man, he, Both men missing! Both men going for a minute collision and missed! Gemini now, that's the advantage though! Has Snow gets the corner, what's he gonna do here? We see him at this watch, we see him out again! Super freaking start from the top rope! Jumping to do it! Gemini uh, going for a cruiser fix! Alex Snow's down! One! Two! Gemini getting two on the cover! Jump it! J running! Hurricane Rollin nailing it! Gemini was able to jump up! Gemini springboard, springboard crossbody, but no! Jumping from the apron! Then a drop to a hold! Gemini trying to just run full on the snow and it's not working! Snow thinking about his next maneuver, what's he gonna do to Gemini? Has joined Gemini in that very same turnbuckle that that, that Snow has taken so much punishment in this match. Oh my God! It's just big elbow the back of the. Oh my God! Did you see how Gemini landed on his neck? Oh my God! One, two, three! Ox Snow wins this match. Oh my God! Someone, did, can I just don't believe how Gemini just landed on his neck right there? Did you see that elbow to the back of the neck? And then Alex Snow just drives Gemini neck first, super back. Oh my god, I can't believe what I just seen. What a match. Alex Snow is going to take on Mike Valner in the semifinals of the Rising Star Championship Tournament. He drew, Alex, he drew Nick, the punishment that Nick Gemini took in this match and the fact that Gemini was able to fight back, almost win the match off the Crucifix, only getting two. That's amazing. As you see the cover off the back suplex, no. That just driving Gemini's neck. It wasn't good, everybody. It was, it was almost terrible to see. Alex Snow getting his arm raised in victory here tonight by the referee. Nick Gemini reeling in pain, but he's moving. I'm glad to see that. Oh my God! Wait, what's what will happen here? What? What just happened? Oh my God! Monster Messiah just showed up out of nowhere. How did he do that? I am back everybody and I am shocked with what I had just seen. Monster Messiah with a flash. A flash had hit the arena folks. Maybe a second or two. I, and he's in the ring. I can't believe it. Alex still had no idea what. Just, 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 this, 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 this big screech noise hits the arena and there he is. I, we have to move on as Denise Parkinson makes her way down in the ring. I don't know how she's got to be feeling. She, she, she's got uh, she's to be a little bit worried about Nick Gemini's neck. We had seen her boyfriend just take one hell of a fall. One hell of a stinger, I would say, in that match. Could put him down for the three. Denise Parkinson looking to move on, though. No. Denise Parkinson looking for her first win here in AEW. Loss of Cheryl Nicholson. Not going to be going on to that four-way Diva's elimination match at Six Cents. As the fans get up off their feet, Chantel Queen is here. As you can see, the fans absolutely love Chantel Queen. A favorite to win the woman the, the Divas Championship at NAW Six Cents. One of the favorite ladies here in NAW. As like I said, as she as the fans, I would say she's the most popular diva here in the NAW Divas Division. Chantel Queen having a big chance to not just not just win over the crowd here in the AEW, the crowd's over the internet, the crowd's over the world watching. She has a chance to win her first major championship. Chantel Queen looking for that Divas title fatal four-way elimination. Alexandra Marie will be in this match. Cheryl Nicholson and Lilith also competing for that title at six cents. Tag team match here in AEW. A Divas tag team match, the very first here in AEW. Chantel Queen also going to be teaming up, like I said, with Denise Parkinson to take on the Red Hood, Rachel Cross, and, and pop star Alexandria Marie tonight. 
The very first Divas Tag Team match here in NAW ever. As you see, Red, Red, Hood, Red Hood, Rachel Cross. We had seen her lose to Chantel Queen in the qualifying match. So Rachel Cross is looking for her first win, just like Denise Parkinson here in NAEW. One of these two ladies will be, will actually be the only, actually between the ladies, the two ladies sitting in the ring right now, only one of these ladies will be winless here in NAEW once this is over. Along with Chanel Nelson. I forgot about that. Chanel Nelson has yet to pick up a win here in NAEW. As pop star Alexandria Marie makes her way down in the ring. Like I said, she's a favorite to win the NAEW Divas Championship. Uh, along with some people on the internet, I have seen the polls and what people are saying. It looks like Alexandria Marie is currently predicted to win the championship by a lot of people. If you ask the fans, though, Chantel Queen is going to be who walks away the Divas Champion. I'm sure two other Divas like Lilith and, and Cheryl Nicholson, TJ Nicholson's girlfriend, have a lot different thing to say about that. I asked, now don't forget, I mentioned in the Christmas episode, is Cheryl Nicholson part of the Crusade? And TJ says, you bet your damn ass she is. So there you go, the Crusade could be the Divas Champion once we see Six Sense is over. When Joe Omega also challenges Mason Chronic and also suspect in that match in the Hell in a Cell in the main event of Six Sense of the World title, they could have a lot of belts. As Alexandria Marie in the ring posing, fans taking pictures of the pop star, Alexandria Marie. This match is about to get underway, tag bell rings. As we see Denise Parkinson attacking Rachel Cross getting her down right away with that drop kick to the knee. That was smart Denise Parkinson. As I mentioned before, Rachel Cross is the tallest of the women in the Divas division. Once again, going for the leg. Denise Parkinson seems to have her match. Her game plan right her way. Going for, I, I think she's going for a DDT on that leg. And pop star Langs into Maria. And there you go. That's what I'm talking about by Rachel Cross. Did you see that kick there? The, the length of her legs and the height advantage of Rachel Cross can turn advantage over this Divas division. We need to see the 200 and Chantel Queen. We're going to definitely see it right there against Denise Parkinson. You know, a big neck breaker, though, on Richard Cross and Denise Parkinson. Divas Vision, something I'm very excited for here in NAEW. We had just signed another diva to the, to the, the women's division. More to come there as she makes her debut. As, we're, as the NAEW roster is always expanding and growing. They're after these two on the outside of the ring now. Rachel Cross over the roll back in. I don't think Denise Parkinson is where she wants to be. Because right there, bam, like I said, Alexandria Marie pulls her off the apron. These two, these two divas now. They're, they are gonna, it looks like they're going to double team. Denise Parkinson, Denise Parkinson, though, fighting off. Alexandria Marie. But now Rachel Cross behind her and there's a cheap shot in. These two girls now attacking Denise Parkinson. Denise Parkinson, though, trying to fight back. She's actually able to. Surprised. Oh, but Alexandria Marie with another cheap shot now. She's, she's getting cheap shot by these divas. She, need, she needs to be back in the ring, but she got back in the ring the way she didn't want to be. Thrown in by Denise Parkinson. Now, now Rachel Cross. I mean, thrown in by Alexandria Marie. Now, now Rachel Cross dr dragging Denise Parkinson. Made a tag to Alexandria Marie. Actually, both these divas make tags. We have a fresh match here now. It's Alexandria Marie and Chantel Queen. Both these divas are going to be in the Fatal 4-Way Elimination Match. The 4-Way Elimination Match ain't a Fatal 4-Way if, if, if there's elimination in it because it ain't Fatal then. Double team move on Chantel Queen, Rachel Cross, not a legal girl. Like I said, we see these two these two these two girls wrestling each other already. These two ladies, Rachel Cross knocking down Denise Parkinson. As now Alexandria Marino, maybe I, the referee should get a little bit better control. Of these divas like a cat fight almost out here. These girls sure like to go. These ladies sure like to go. Oh, driving Chantel Queen driving that elbow into Rachel Cross there. Loud and proud is Chantel the Queen. And ducking that kick by Rachel Cross. And Rachel Cross trying to run out of nail on that huge just sit out spine buster. Impressive by Chantel Queen. 
But Rage Across, though, able to drive Chantel Queen down the mat somehow. Chantel Queen able to get up and then drive her down with a bulldog. Again, when you have someone like Chantel Queen, the, the side advantage she has are usually over the ladies, which is nothing wrong about her size or anything. I'm just saying, it's just true. That there's, there's no insult at all. But it's an advantage to her that she's definitely able to use to a lot to her. She's loud and proud, and she knows it. Very athletic for a diva of that size, too. And just, oh, my God, the T-Bone Destroyer on Rachel Cross. That's what finished her off last time these two Reds wrestled. And, oh, Denise Parkinson not able to cut off Alexandria Maria. Wait a second. What is, we've seen Chantel Queen, do, Chantel Queen do this already. No way! Just, oh my god, the power is straight down Queen driving Rachel Cross to the mat! One, two, three, Chantel Queen! And, oh my god, Chantel Queen and Denise Parkinson have picked up a victory as well. I'm impressed. Chantel Queen has once again defeated Rachel Cross in a match. Chantel Queen going 2 and 0. Oh. Look at this, Chantel Queen. Look at that T Bone Destroyer! Rachel Cross thrown like a rag doll. Chantel Queen will fight off Alexandra Marie. The referee getting rid of Alexandra Marie. You didn't see it right there, but she then marched around. She marched around the ring with Rachel Cross on her shoulders, driven her down with a muscle buster. The marching muscle buster, she calls that. The march moves forward for Chantel Queen and Denise Parkinson. Chantel Queen will be at Sixth Sense in the Divas Championship match. She very well could be the very first Divas Champion as these two ladies celebrate their victory, rightfully so. The very first ever Divas win here, and, and Divas Tag win here in an AEW. These two have something to, to celebrate about. We'll be back. We are back now as we move on to the Rising Star Championship Tournament, Roblox Episode 4. Danny Jackpot, your host, still here. Nate Farron about to make his way down in the ring right now as we see him on, on camera officially. Nate, Kevin, Nate Farron going to be taking on L Lightning. We see Nate Farron defeated with a little bit of help. Monster Messiah in the first round of the tournament. We see L Lightning actually defeat. Well, actually, Al Lightning was the one who defeated Marcus Matrix in the tournament. I'm sorry, earlier. I got my notes wrong when I had said that Alex Snow is the one who had defeated him. I was wrong about that. Nate Farron in the ring now. Nate Farron awaiting the arrival of his opponent. The arrival of Al Lightning. Al Lightning, a former brutality champion here in AEW, has already made his mark. Just like we had seen former Brutality Champion earlier in this match, in the tournament already making a mark. Johnny Farmer, he's looking for a different success Johnny Farmer has. Farmer lost his match against Valander. L Lightning. Exciting like always, L Lightning. Woo, L Lightning in some pyro now. L Lightning exciting as always. Make my shoulders jump a little bit. As we have that, as we have a new table still built for me from out at back here. Is Alex Snow and Nick Gemini destroyed that earlier? Got that? We got that during in the Divas match. Nick Ferry knocking down L Lightning. An exciting roadblock we have here. We're gonna see this will be the this will be the first of the second semifinals match in the NAAW Rising Star Championship Tournament. The winner of this match. The winner will take on either Chris Snyder, who Nate Farron is good friends within the tag team NSFW, not safe for work with. Official tag team name for Nate Farron and Chris Snyder has been given. Nate Farron, 6'9". He has the height and size advantage over L. Lightning, most definitely. L. Lightning's definitely going to have to use his, his quickness and his speed on Nate Farron. But Nate Farron is a, he's not a usual big man. He doesn't wrestle like a big man at all. He wrestles like a, like a one hell of a damn right good wrestler. I'll tell you that. Nate Farron's a hell of a technical wrestler at 6'9". Nate Farron got, got, his, got his huge arms wrapped around L. Lightning, that sleeper hold. You imagine the length and everything helps Nate Farron of his arms for Al Lightning because Al Lightning probably not used to wrestling guys of Nate Farron's stature. 
Yeah, well, Daniela, Jawbreaker, though. That was thwarted by All Lightning. That's where, the, that's where that high advantage didn't help All Lightning there. All Lightning Springboard. All Lightning Springboard. Close line. Just a Springboard. Close line. Elbow like maneuver taking down Nate Farron. Grabbing his leg. Driving him right down the mat. Grabbing the ankle. Looking for an ankle lock. Can't keep it on long. But drives his knee down the mat. All Lightning now thinking about his next maneuver. L Lightning, both the drive off the road. Oh my God! Nate Ferry catches him in the air. Bicycle kick by Nate Ferry. Nate he pins L Lightning. One, two, three. That is it. Statement made by Nate Ferry. Oh my God! Did you see that? You drive Nate Ferry's leg down the mat. He kicks your head off with it. L Lightning. Oh my God! If, if you missed, if you missed it, I'll blink him and I, Al Lightning just lost this match. I don't think Al Lightning even knows what hit him. I barely even know what hit Al Lightning. It was a straight kick to the face. Al Lightning jumped right into it. Nate Fern moves on in the Rising Star Championship Tournament. Nate Fern is a reckon here, a, a force to be reckoned with here in NAEW. Nate Fern rightfully celebrating a great win tonight. Main event time here in NAEW. Danny Jackpot here once again. The host for your main event, Danny Jackpot. Been commentating all night. Chris Snyder, Balls of Wrestle, Andrew Hunter. What a show it's been, everybody. I can't believe still what Nate Farron did to L Lightning. L Lightning. Oh my God. Uh, just, like a, just like a flash of lightning, L Lightning is no longer in the tournament by Nate Farron. Chris Snyder, NSFW. Looking impressive here. A little bit different look for Nate Fer for Chris Snyder. Chris Snyder, I'm going to tell you right now, guys, this man is guaranteed greatness in, in AEW. Look at the size of this man. Look at how look at how this man presents himself. This man is a, a future world champion. I don't, I almost see it. I don't know if it's going to happen here in an AEW, but if it doesn't happen here, it's going to happen somewhere in college because this guy is a great talent. Chris Snyder, give him a few years, he will be world champion here, I bet. You never know. Andrew Hunter, though, immediately making his way down the ring. Andrew Hunter wanted to get this match underway. We know Andrew Hunter doesn't back down from a fight. We know Andrew Hunter's excited to be here. We, If you didn't see over on Collaboration, Episode 1, that's when he had actually defeated Isaiah Ice in the Rising Star Championship Tournament. Front round one match. Chris Nader was able to put down Brandon Shields in his tournament match. To start, off, to start off, I don't know if I had mentioned that. Bell rings for this match. As these two look, look like they're excited to get this match underway. These two red wrestled each other previously at five golden rings in that tag team match. This will be Chris Snyder's biggest challenge to date. Andrew Hunter is an established, legend, is an established veteran here in CAW. Looking to still make a name for himself here in North American League Wrestling. The top wrestling... The top stars here in NAEW. The winner of this match is going to be taking on Nate Farron, who once again, like I said, in a, in a flash of lightning, knocked down L had just had ended L Lightning's chances of winning the Rising Star Championship tournament. Andrew Hunter knocked down Snyder with the neck breaker. Snyder, though, again, Snyder's really going to be tested here against Andrew Hunter. It'll be interesting to see what the a man, a man like Snyder does against Andrew Hunter. And oh my God, that's what he does to Andrew Hunter, driving Andrew Hunter's shoulder into the into the ring post, which is also very smart. Andrew Hunter, again, you don't think Chris Snyder takes his company seriously or takes wrestling seriously? He he does he does his homework because Andrew Hunter was his finisher, the spear. What do you just do? Drive his shoulder into the ring post. Chris Snyder is a very smart man, and that proves it right there. Chris Snyder does his homework on these guys. He doesn't just use his power. Chris Snyder also has a little bit of brain behind him. That Nate Farron's also molding him. Nate Farron. Could you imagine if Nate Farron and Chris Snyder wrestle each other in the next round? Andrew Hunter and Nate Farron also have history with each other. So no matter what, that's going to be an interesting semi-final match. Andrew Hunter able to catch Nate Farron there. Andrew Hunter suplexing Snyder. Snyder weighs in at 285 pounds. Andrew Hunter weighing in at 230 Chris Snyder. Yeah, but look at that 55 pound weight advantage. Andrew Hunter is a built guy, but Chris Snyder is a little bit shorter than, than Andrew Hunter. And Andrew Hunter 
to has, uh, has that height advantage, which gives him a little bit more weight. Chris Snyder's a built brick house, everybody. Driving the elbow down, Andrew Hunter. Main event here of Roblox Episode 4. We'll be seeing Mike Valander take on. We take, we see Mike Valander take on Alex Snow in the, in the semifinals of the match. Still can't believe Alex Snow got him taken out by Monster Messiah. That just a, just flashes all over tonight. That flash, the flash of lightning, just a flash hit the arena earlier. Couldn't see you, you couldn't see nothing for a second or two, and then bam, Monster Messiah's in the ring. That screech too, all oh, that screech. Monster Messiah is scary. Andrew Hunter. Whoa! Falcon Arrow by Andrew Hunter knocking down Chris Snyder. Like I said, Andrew Hunter's a veteran. He he's wrestled guys like Snyder before. Oh, driving Snyder down. Face first to the mat. Don't know how much impact Snyder was able to get hit there with, but it still drove him down. Hunter going for the cover. One, two only in, two seconds of shoulder up. Snyder now using that power, just oh my god, throwing. Just 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 using his arms to swat Hunter away and then a big STO. Belly to back. We've seen him finish off superstars with his belly to back suplex before. Will he finish off Andrew Hunter? One, two, Andrew Hunter getting his shoulder up at two. Chris Snyder now, what's he looking for here? Chris Snyder. Chris Snyder looking for the last rights. Nailed it. Chris Snyder with the last rights. One, two, three. Andrew Hunter kicked out. And the heart of Andrew Hunter on display here. Andrew Hunter and Smokey will team up to take on the Crusade. At, it's at six cents for the tag team titles. The United States Tag Team Championship. We will crown Canadian Tag Team Champions at the at the holidays at the holiday show, the New Year Bash Holiday Showdown Show, the Countdown Showdown Show. Chris Snyder powering up though. Chris Snyder, a scary guy. Andrew Hunter staying calm, but it doesn't matter. Snyder powers Hunter down on the mat. Chris Snyder now. Driving him down with a huge power bomb. That had more. That didn't have like the height that he had grabbed him by the last rights. But he just drove Hunter down with the velocity. I'm surprised Hunter was able to recover. Hunter now trying to confuse Snyder up, getting nailed on a big spinning neck breaker. Only getting a two count though. A quick two. Andrew Hunter though. Hunter driving right Chris Snyder out of nowhere. Andrew Hunter with a cover. One, two. Three, Chris Snyder's out! What a match! Andrew Hunter had a out of nowhere now that flipping power driver not the Hunter driver. Chris Snyder, we've seen Andrew Hunter pick out that belly to back suplex. Not many superstars had Chris Snyder's belly to back. The impact of that power bomb right there, we've seen it now the last rights. Andrew Hunter was able to fight back though. Look at this. Getting only two on this, but then right away, Andrew Hunter was able to nail. Look at this. Out of nowhere, as Hunter was, as Snyder was getting up, caught him with the flipping power driver known as the Hunter driver. Andrew Hunter there with the cover. One, two, three. Snyder caught off, caught off guard. Again, Andrew Hunter used his veteran experience to put down Chris Snyder tonight. Chris Snyder giving him his first singles loss here, and Andrew Hunter picking up a victory here in the AW. Oh, and the Crusade, as I have to say, good fight, good night. The Crusade's here. We have to sign off.